Alright, just a little disclaimer before we start this video proper. Don't do anything in the video that's been mentioned, okay? The last thing I want to hear is, um, Steve, I just stuck a spoon up my butt and now it's your fault, <laughs> okay? It would be like, um, uh, Steve, I had to go to the emergency room and uh, the surgeons had to remove a uh, big silver spoon out of my butthole and uh, it's your fault, Steve. You big me. Ugh. Ugh. I can't stand you, Steve. Ugh. And now, rant over. Enjoy the video. Item number SCP-7052 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures Any information about SCP-7052 leaked to the public must be censored. In case of widespread leaks, misinformation about the dangers of SCP-7052 will be released. Found instances of SCP-7052-1 are to be monitored and if displaying unusual or dangerous behavior, contained in standard humanoid cells at the closest site. SCP-7052-1-16 needs to be recovered as soon as possible. SCP-7052 is the practice of inserting spoons in one's rectum. Although this action initially appears as irrational, it will result in numerous anomalous effects beneficial to the subject hereinafter referred to as SCP-7052-1. These effects typically manifest within 5-10 minutes after the insertion. The anomalies vary, although the following effects are always present. Increased sexual attraction towards SCP-7052-1, affecting people of gender based on SCP-7052-1 sexual orientation. This effect will likely be absent if SCP-7052-1 is asexual. Improvement of SCP-7052-1's physical and mental abilities. Sudden healing of SCP-7052-1's wounds, infections, and carcinomas. Various ontokinetic effects that result in the enhancement of luck in SCP-7052-1's life such as higher probability of winning lotteries and other chance-based competitions. Improvement in Mood The intensity of these effects depend on the depth of the insertion, as well as the number and size of spoons inserted. The most intense effects, reported at 12 standard silverware spoons, had strong ontokinetic properties. This instance, referred to as SCP-7052-1-9, was formerly a D-Class member known as D-952674. See Addendum 2. Addendum 1. List of known instances of SCP-7052-1, excluding D-Class personnel. Date of discovery, location, note. July 8, 2015. Moscow. Monitored. A successful Russian wrestler. January 22, 2016 Site 19 An adult bill mattress, contained due to apparent anomalies. November 19, 2018 Site 19 A researcher at Site 19 November 20, 2018 Site 19 A researcher at Site 19 September 15, 2020 Portland, Oregon. Monitored. An American bus driver. January 15, 2022. Osaka. Monitored. A Japanese billionaire. May 27, 2022. Site 83. A criminal. Contained. September 1, 2022. Unknown. A former researcher at Site 19. Addendum 2 Incident Iota Subject D-952674 Procedure Experimentation with high-intensity SCP-7052 Results D-952674 had to be terminated due to extreme anomalies. Report You will enter this room. 
we will give you some privacy. In there you will find a box full of spoons. Your task is to insert as many of them as you can in your rectum. Oh, uh, of course, sure, okay, you're serious? Yes, please proceed. D-952674 enters the room for 40 minutes before emerging. Oh, what the hell? D-952674, please stop where you are. D-952674 levitating a meter above the floor. Multiple spoons are orbiting around him. His eyes are glowing and changing colors, and objects around him are being deformed and transformed. I have achieved godhood. D-952674 sends a spoon flying towards the two researchers, which misses and skims closer to Dr. Lorenz's ear. The door behind D-952674 breaks away from its frame. We need a response team at SGD-5 immediately. How many spoons did you stick in your ass? All electronic displays in the vicinity start showing the number 12. Just enough. D-952674 shoots two more spoons at Dr. Lorenz, penetrating his abdomen. Ah, shit! Where's the fucking team? Dr. Tawar throws a chair in the direction of D-952674. Just before hitting D-952674, the chair transforms into a feather. You can't get me. Team of four heavily armed men enters the area and starts shooting at D-952674, who seems unaffected by the bullets. What the fuck is this? Move aside, everyone! Throws a hand grenade at D-952674. The explosion knocks D-952674 down to the ground. Keep firing! A spray of bullets flies towards D-952674 until he is static and the ontokinesis disappears. Addendum 3 Incident Theta 2. Franklin at Skip.net Copy. You and eight more. From John.Harrison2 at Skip.net Subject. Leave Notice Dear Supervisor Franklin, Dear Fellow Researchers, I have decided to use SCP-7052 for my own benefit. I have inserted three spoons and then bought a lottery ticket, which I won. It saddens me that I must make this decision, but it is for the best for all of us. I have left the Foundation and I am going to live a discreet and peaceful life. Please do not look for me. Best regards, John Harrison, Ph.D. 2. Franklin at Skip.net Copy. You and eight more. From John.Harrison2 at Skip.net Subject. Reference. Leave notice. Dear Supervisor Franklin and Researchers, I have unfortunately been captured by the Chaos Insurgency. Currently, I am in an unknown location, but I will try to find out information about my coordinates. I will not disclose anything about how I acquired my anomalous abilities, no matter what they do to me. Please look for me. Thanks and sorry. John Harrison, Ph.D. As of September 21, 2022, no additional messages from Harrison, SCP-7052-1-16, have been received. Locating SCP-7052-1-16 is of the highest priority.